And a Shreveport mother is calling for an end to the gun violence in the city as well. This comes after her son was killed last fall and her daughter was targeted by a drive-by shooting last week. She tells our Jenna Jordan the shootings have to stop. That was them when they were little. She was like three and a half and he was like one. To Felicia Hinton, family means the world. I always used to say I wanted twins and they're only like a year and a half apart. So they were so close, it's like I got my twins. But gunfire tore the tight-knit family apart. He was sitting on the floor eating pizza rolls, laughing, joking, just like he always did. And next thing you know, we get a phone call that he's been shot. In fall 2019, her son Dayton died at the hospital. Fast forward to last Friday. We get a phone call that my daughter's been shot. Hinton says she had just finished visiting with the district attorney's office when she heard the news. I was just complaining about how all of these random shootings are going around and they need stricter sentences. When just days before her 21st birthday, her daughter Alicia was driving with friends, waiting at the stoplight at West 70th and Juella. They said that the driver flashed a handgun and the next thing you know, the light turned green. My daughter's driving off. All they hear is gunshot. Alicia, six months pregnant, was shot in the upper chest. She didn't even know that she was hit. She just felt like a pressure in her chest. Hinton says her daughter doesn't know the men who fired at them and describes the vehicle they were in as a late 2000s model silver Nissan sedan, hoping someone's seen the car or knows who pulled the trigger. If you don't speak up, this could be your family member that this happens to. Jenna Jordan, NBC6 News. Oh, Jenna, thank you.